Hey y'all, it's Stream from the Elko's Ground. As you can see, we are standing in the backyard in a very shady location. And that's because in today's video, we are going to pot up a beautiful shaded hanging plant full of flowers and greenery and just all the loveliness that should be in your garden. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, I am so glad to see you again. Let's get into it, you all. So we're gonna be replanting an array of some beautiful flowers that I don't think a lot of people realize that are able to tolerate shade and even be in full shade. So we're replanting some super wave petunias. We're gonna plant up, um, let's see, what else do we have? We have some fancy leaf caladiums. We have some geraniums. We even have a salvia. We have coleus. And then my favorite one is called the Creeping Jenny Goldilocks. And this can actually be in full shade. So let's get to planting up this pot and then we'll take it out front. We'll hang it up and later in the video after we're done, we'll do a little tour and we'll talk about more plants that are available to you to plant in your shady areas. Be a little close up look at some of this stuff. This is the Creeping Jenny and I absolutely love this. If you plant nothing else this in a container that hangs, this would be stunning. And then we have some geraniums, some pink geraniums, and this is a salvia. Um, it, I've lost the tag to tell you exactly what salvia, but I got it at Callaway's, and this is a shade salvia. And I absolutely, look at the flowers on that. They're absolutely just gorgeous. And then, of course, the wave petunias. Again, if you plant nothing else, Sorry, my little one's out here now. If you plant nothing else in the container, this would be just stunning. You could just plant just that right there in that container and you wouldn't need any of this other stuff. But we're gonna, <laughs> we're probably not gonna use all of this. I may use this in another, some more of this in a different container. We'll just see how much we can get in there. And there's Joey, say hello. Okay. <laughs> we also have some of these fancy leaf caladium. Yes, caladiums. Uh, again, these can take full shade. They're absolutely beautiful if you take care of them. Feed them about once a month. They'll just keep growing and growing and growing. And the great thing about these is you can, and the, when the season is over, pull out the bulbs and you can have them for next year. And then this is shade coleus. And you can tell why I picked it. But there are many colors of this that you can use. And this one is already starting to flower. And it should be probably little lavender flowers on there. But let's get to planting all this up and then get it up in the front yard and hang it up. Okay, something I always add is Biotone. This phone is organic Biotone to any plant that I start in any pot. The soil that I'm using is... Um, Hold on just a minute, everyone. So there you have it. As you can see, I am in a very extremely shady spot. We get morning sun here for about two to three, sometimes four hours. But as the leaves have come in, we get less and less, and this will thrive right here. Let me take you on a tour of all the other pots so you can see just how many of them are in shade and how many beautiful things that you can have on your patio, your terrace, or on your front porch, even if it gets a lot of shade. It's beautiful, isn't it? So it is a little later in the evening since I got this planted up. Pickles kept getting out and Joey kept getting out, so I just decided until everybody was, way, was home and we would just continue filming. 
So let me show you what it looks like hanging up. It turned out beautiful. Now, for those of you who are new, who are new to my channel, I want to give you some context to just how much shade that will be in. You can see she will be in a lot of shade. So the other thing I promised is we would talk about, I would show you the other pots and talk about the other flowers that, that are here. Now in these pots we have marigolds, we have a super tunia, and we have a columbine. And we have a snapdragon that's kind of died back just a little bit. All are able to tolerate partial shade. And with columbine it can actually handle just a little bit more than shade or partial shade um, just because it's a very delicate flower even though it is a perennial it's still very delicate especially to this Texas heat and of course marigolds I think they will grow anywhere and everywhere and just about every super tunia um, can handle partial shade there's some that love you know full sun but there's some that love partial shade as well and then here's where the rest of the flowers ended up. Um, these are chrysanthemums and these are the wave petunias that I have in here. And then I wanted to show you some other plants that are planted in here. This of course is an elephant ear for those of you who are looking for more landscape type plants. Elephant ear will do just fine in shade. This is called American Beauty Bush and it right now of course is beautiful and green foliage but you could eat in the fall it has these real pretty purple berries that are on them and this past fall i found out that you could actually they're actually edible and you can make jam out of those this down here even though it looks like grass is garlic chives and again garlic chives can actually handle full shade so them being down here they're doing just fine then we have lavender right here and then these are nasturtiums and nasturtiums can handle partial shade this is called an evergreen fir sorry for the shadows this is called an evergreen fir and this is a hellebore hellebore can handle full shade now these ones right here you have these are gerber daisies these are echinacea these are all pansies which look so pitiful because i took too long to get them in here and then these i think these are called what are these called daisy burst or burst daisies but they handle partial shade just as well now this is my front door and again we have these are um, calla lilies another super tunia marigolds snapdragons and i want to say these are called something bell i don't remember right now and i don't have the tag but they're good in shade as well And then let me show you these. Okay, again, pansies. This big green one right here, where you see the little gnome, this is a mum from last year. I don't remember what these are called. I have, there's one here and one here. This one has more of a, kind of like a mustard yellow with a burgundy center um, daisy. And then this one is just a bright yellow one that comes up. And I wish I could remember the names of these, but maybe if I can find them, I'll put them up on the screen for you so you know the names. Another beautiful Super Tunia. This one though, I do have the tag and it is called Proven Winner Super Bell's Rising Star. So if you're looking for that one, that's what that one is. Again, just another Another one of those little fuzzy plants in all um, pansies. This is tansy. This is a plant. Seem to be getting hung up in something. This will bloom about midsummer. And it'll be little yellow flowers. This is our red cabbage with the marigolds. And then in this one, we actually have kind of a variety. I always love planting herbs and flowers together. So we have feverfew in here. We have bee balm. And we have ranoculas, marigolds, and then of course the Gerber daisy. And that's just what's in the front yard. We have a whole bunch in the backyard, but super tunias, the reason I like them so well is they will bloom through most of the year 
and they will get as long as you deadhead them and water them and take care of them they'll just keep coming and coming now as we get into hotter months and of course when they're in pots like this you're going to have to feed them about once a month i don't do anything special i just have a um, fish emulsion and kelp it's a you dilute it and then you can water your plants with it and they will grow all summer long and you only need one of those plants so if you're on a tight budget again if you just want a pretty pot you only need one if you have been around on my channel for a while let us know down in the comments what your favorite shade loving plant or flower is that you have in your gardens to help all the new gardeners out again if you are new and you found some value in this please give us a like and a thumbs up it helps our channel to go I'm sorry to grow and if you want to see more videos like this please consider subscribing again thanks for hanging out with me in this video thanks for taking your time to be with me until I see you in the next video, you all take care of yourselves. You keep your heads up and no matter how you do it, you keep growing. Bye-bye, y'all.